Hello guys, this is Dr. Bayes from the Endless Ref Room and um, I thought it would be interesting for you to um, know the differences between different uh, surfaces, different metal surfaces and uh, how they affect the uh, thermal uh, reflection. So I mean um, when you have a, let's say, a motor side cover and you want to know if the uh, heat uh, produced by the uh, stator will be uh, absorbed or reflected by the side cover surface. So it depends on which kind of um, surface you have on uh, these material. So I will show you a difference and you will see that uh, a normal aluminum, uh, bare aluminum side cover will reflect the heat from the stator back to the stator itself and uh, that some other um, surface will absorb it and also uh, transmit it to the uh, exterior of the motor. So just an example, here I have uh, bare aluminum, you see 23 degree. This is actually the temperature not of the surface but of the roof. I will show you why. If I put my hand here, you see there's temperature variation about 31 degrees Celsius which is the temperature of my hand. 34, okay you see 30. If I remove my hand, you see 23. If I do the same with the uh, black anodized surface, you see no differences it remain uh, 22. So the black anodized surface is good for absorbing uh, thermal uh, uh, heat uh, reflection. And this is a black paint surface. You will see there is no real difference too. So it's the same as the aluminum. And now this is a black side cover that I painted with uh, the Krillon uh, 1602. There is no much difference between the two last surfaces as I thought. So you see it remain 22 degrees Celsius and my hand doesn't bring any uh, 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 heat reflected. So if I go back to the original surface, you'll see there's a difference. So this surface reflects the heat coming from a heat source. So this is not good. But all these three surfaces, aluminum, uh, anodized, painted aluminum and painted aluminum with the Krylon uh, 1602 are good. So thank you for watching.